when it comes to trading, if you trade long enough, you realize that you can't win every single trade. Maybe the first trade and the second trade, you might have winners. But the more you trade, the more you realize that you're going to have some losing trades as part of normal business. I found this game here. This is called the coin flip game. And they let you flip a coin, make your bet, and then you get an outcome. And you get to play the game however you want. But we know it's 50-50 odds. You can't really change the odds. You only get 50-50. You can change your bet. As you see, I'm changing the amount. But the odds are the same, 50-50. The risk reward is the same. So I was curious, could I make my own game using uh, coins or dice? And it turns out, yeah, you could. So I wanted to have different scenarios. Obviously, the coin flip game is just a 50-50. But uh, every trading course or every every system tries to get more reward than risk. So let's try to simulate a 50-50, but more reward. This is like a stop loss compared to a take profit. And then <clears throat> for option sellers, they usually get a higher frequency of wins and then there's a negative outcome less frequently represented by this risk reward payout. So I made it into a game, trading game. I'm still working on it, but I've already been playing with it. I do love just seeing the gains and the losses play out. It's like a randomizer. Uh, I have the three outcomes right here. You place money or beans or rice and one unit is one bet. And you say heads or tails. We're just going to go with heads is always a win and you win or lose. And you try to double your account. The second scenario is the two to one ratio. Same thing. You place your bet two to one. You try to double your account. Try not to blow up. And then the third, you have to flip two coins. And this is how we get the higher frequency of winning. Heads twice, you win two. Heads and tails, and after two flips, you win two. But if you get tails twice, which happens 25% of the time, you have to lose three. I thought this was a fun, fun way to simulate trading. I have a lot of friends that are getting into trading, into investing, and when you put it, lay it out like this, it's just, it's just mind expanding to think of trading as not one trade, but 10, a hundred, a thousand trades. And if you're going to do trading for a living, this is the way you got to think. You got to look for positive expected value, a, a, a positive expectancy. If your system doesn't have that, you might be taking gains too small, too frequently, and then the losses blow your butthole open i'm going to be offering it for free on my I'll, I'll put a link at the bottom and then you can download it for free it's going to be on my coffee.com account coffee option farmers that's the home page coffee.com option farmers and i'll put the link in the bottom but uh play both this is games for traders and you can see how like double down theory you know so you can make it work, but it's just so hard and you have to have small bets before you blow up. And then when you play the others, you'll see that, hey, it's better. But, you know, there's also drawdowns. You can have a series of losses in a row. And it's just like regular trading, like where you place. If, if you realize you have a good system, like two to one, you still have to try to get good trades. You're still going to try to do that. Uh, if you can get this 60% or 70%, it's even better because you get a higher frequency of winning. You get less drawdown. And uh, that, that's that's the holy grail. That's what everybody wants. But I'll leave the link at the bottom. Let me know what you think. I'd like to make the game be better. I'd like to do uh, growth stocks and mature stocks and add a, a component of time if possible. So if you have any ideas, please feel free to share them. Cheers.